Yo, hey, what's up, everyone? It's D Bailey. There I am. And you've seen it. That's a little guy, Xander. We were actually in, uh, we were in Lowe's right now. Not Home Depot. Not today. Lowe's. To pick up some lumber. Some lumber. For the beach That's right. Four by four posts to be exact. So we can uh, finish making or go ahead and put out a few bee traps for sale. So that's where we are right now. Wanted to bring you guys along. Our lesson in this is uh, entrepreneurship. So that's what we're doing right now. We'll keep you guys um, up to date on the process. We'll let you tap in while we're making them. And hopefully we can give you guys some details on how to actually purchase a bee trap if you're interested, if you're a homeowner or if you are uh, if you're renting a property and carpets of bees are an issue for you. So uh, stay tuned and, you know, we'll hope you guys enjoy this, this vlog. Uh, just so you know, it'll probably be under um, Xander's Productions, the playlist uh, titled Xander's Productions. Please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, leave your feedback, um, and share this video by all means. And I uh, hope you enjoy. Those are right, yep. Ballisters, I think they call them. We checked both of these out here and there and there. Okay. I'm gonna follow you, okay? Let's head back. Okay. Are they this way right here? Let's go down this way and just get an uh, eight foot. An eight foot? Yeah, an eight foot long one. And we can have a leftover for, for some more. Okay, daddy was looking for some short ones. You mean like this? Yep. And then started? That's right, so I think that is an eight foot. Let's come down here really quick before we make a decision. That's probably 12 foot. Yeah. We don't need that long right now. All right, so yeah, that's it right here. Are we going anywhere else before we uh, check out? You don't want to go over to the plumbing? No. You sure? Okay. All right, let's put in the buggy, man, so we make it easy for us right there. All right, can you lift it up? And Dad will do the rest. There you go. Awesome. Good job. Okay, there you go. You got it. Do you know how much money this is right here? How much? I don't know. Do you know? I mean, how much? How much money it is for you? Ten. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, about $90. Okay, so if you, there you go. And if you do twelve dollars, you can make that a hundred, hundred dollars total. Okay. All right, everyone, we're back. We have all of our materials laid out. So starting right here, we have the string um, where the bee traps are going to hang from. We have some screws here that are gonna attach the uh, the glass jar to, uh, to exactly. Right okay, all right. So if you notice, we have everything systematized. We have the same amount for each one. We've learned to do that. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, I don't know if I did some uploads on this, but a few years ago, I actually used to sell these myself, but I decided to, uh, yeah. Xander helped me, so I decided as he gets bigger, you know, to pass along the endeavor to him, show him a way for which he can make some money as he gets older. And trust me, it's very lucrative. He's already sold two. 
Well, actually, has order for two already. So, uh, and I already sold the one. Yep. And uh, so what he's going to do right now is go through and do a layout for the lumber. And then a little bit later, we're going to go outside and do the cutting. But it's uh, super hot outside. So we're just going to do prep work right now and uh, get prepared. So we have our drills. Okay. We have one drill for the leads. This is a Phillip hat. And then we have a three quarter inch spade bit for the hole. And this is mine. That's Xander's drill. I and bought it for him. Mine is slightly years ago. shorter. All right. This is a driver and this is an actual high power drill. And uh, over here we have the square, supplies, drywall screws, some backup cord, and Just the three jars. So Xander's going to go through right now. He has his tape measure already laid out. So he's going to go through and mark out the five inch increments so that when we decide to do the cut, everything will be laid out already. Okay. And if you're in carpentry, you'll probably know this already, but this is how we, we do layouts in carpentry. Okay. So get your tape measure back lined up. Right. And try to stay on that five inch increment, okay? Okay. Here, let me help you out. There you go. Bring it closer to where your mark's going to be. There you go, right there. All right. <clears throat> so we have five inches 10, 15, 20, 20 25, 30, 30. You see that point right there? Make sure, try to make sure. It's, you see that? Because dad is going to be cutting. All right, so re redo that one right there, the 35. It needs to be right there on the, the point. Okay, there you go. Make your mark. Make the point at the nut right here first, okay, and then come down. There you go. and 70. 70. So you have about three inches left on the end, right? Mm -hmm. Good job. The way he's doing right now is counting how many units he has. So if you notice, we have one, two, three. A hundred and forty dollars. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. A hundred and forty dollars. Great job. Make sure your line is dark. Dark and fast. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be fast. It's, you know, it's good if you learn how to do it fast, but it doesn't have to be. Speedy squares. Great job. Speed. All right, so it's all ready to go. All we have to do now is cut, right? Awesome. So let us tell about who's Gary. Oh, my, my pet snail. We found him in my backyard in the compost. Yeah, we were adding some, uh, some uh, carbon matter 
to the compost some eggs and some uh, some rice and some other things. Watermelon. And we, watermelon rinds. And this guy's very shy. <clears throat> He's shy? Mm -hmm. Let's see what you got. Open it up. I don't know if Gary wants to be in there. Well, we'll be all right. But that's Gary right there. The snail. The snail. We can make sure we keep Gary away from the salt, okay? What's the salt? You know what happens to snails if you put salt on them? Oh, yeah. They dry out and kills them. So we want to make sure we keep him away from the bacon and all the other stuff. Because bacon has salt on it. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Does it actually have that? Bacon does have, yeah, baby. I think we should get a bigger container for Gary. We will, baby. Can we go find one? It's one back there under the rain barrel. You want to go now? Yes. Okay, so we have made the cuts and we're now finishing off with the hooks at the top. And this is the part where we're putting the uh, the hooks on top where the uh, where they hang the string attaches and it hangs from the the house. That, that should be good. We we'll probably need a different drill bit. Okay? Let's take that one. Daddy's gonna take that one off, okay? okay. And use a different size. That's too small. Great job though. Can I get a pound? Alright, you ready for the new drill bit? Yes, new drill bit. Find the center. There you go. Straight down. Alright, stop really quick. We're back. Yo. Alright, I think that was good. Daddy, do this one? I'm gonna do it. No, I mean it showed seconds, minutes, and then it showed the part for um hours. Find the center before you start drilling. Mm. Right there should be good. That's good right there, perfect. Now pull it out. Now hit the hit the button to reverse it. There you go. Hit the button. Now go ahead and drill and pull it up. There you go. Reverse pulls it up. Yep. Who knew? Okay, everybody, here's the finished product. We have three, three done. We want to thank you guys for watching. And we have one, two, three more. Ready. Yep. And if we want to do more work, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. Thank you guys for watching. D. Bailey Speaks. And try to buy some. Yep. I will put a link below on how to purchase a bee trap from Xander. Uh, thank you guys for watching. D. Bailey Speaks. Uh, please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and hit that notification bell. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.